Well, uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna reset the score, uh, since they were not in Grand Prix mode before. Janet, uh, with a nice start there. It looks like, uh, Puppy Chula stalled out of it. Yeah, might, might see, uh, the same thing over again here. <laughs> No, oh, and he uh, takes out his opponent in the front. Ah, he fell for the for the old trap. Oh man, he's getting wrecked by the other drivers. <laughs> All right, so uh, whoever. Places the highest in this Grand Prix will be moving on to the next round. sick equipment that he always brings out. Um, dude has like five or six PVMs uh, and some really nice uh, upscalers slash transcoders. Um, that's why we were able to get such good quality out of uh, games like this. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's uh, it's just it's such an experience being able to play these consoles on, on a screen like this. You can definitely tell the difference because I have played this game a lot on uh, emulator, and it's just not the same. Yeah, man, it's uh, these these older games. You just got to do special things. The video, like when I when I got here, took a look at the at, at all of the house stuff. I was just like, ah, I gotta get some of this hard to find PDMs. Yeah, yeah, that's about here. And they're pricey too when you do find them. So Janet finishing uh, second for that. Uh, Far ahead, uh, Papi Chulo, who was in fifth. Mamma mia! All right, so, uh, Round two here. Let's see if uh, Papi Chulo can fix his mistakes. Adapt, so to speak. <laughs> and that's, uh, that, that's how you get good at any game. You just work on your ability to adapt. You get good. Get well soon. Get well soon. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was really unfortunate for Janet. That mole popped out, like, at just the right time to uh, pop her up into the air. <laughs> but now that she's in fifth, man, she's going to get some really great power-ups. She's got the golden, the, go the golden mushroom here. She's going to catch right up to Toad, passing him, going into fourth. But uh, Poppy Chulo way out in front and in first. She is catching up to him though as well. Oh, and he spins out. She takes second. She's going to take first as well. This is definitely going to be a close call. He's uh, doing he just, a lot better. He, he just used a uh, lightning bolt there. That's really unfortunate for her. <laughs> and he's taken first. How long can he hold it? Oh, no. Not long. Uh, so pesky, when, pesky moles. When, you, when you're small and you run into someone else who is also small, you both get flat. Oh, wow. Good decision there by Janet. Take her two boosts and get a fresh power. She's got three more boosts here. She's going to save those, use them more strategically. Oh, I hope she doesn't hit the banana. Barely avoiding that banana. I don't know how she didn't get that power up. I guess it was spawning as she went over it. 
So, uh, Poppy Chulo out in front here. Oh, she, she just spun out. So, right now what Janet's gonna wanna do- Oh, man, she hit a banana, ended up in fifth, that she's gonna suffer a loss in points for that. Absolutely, a very big loss, especially considering she got second. Yeah, I mean, um, with all these other drivers on the course, if you if you can't beat your opponent, you gotta finish in, in as high a place as you can. Absolutely. Um, I want to say that they're they might be somewhat even on points, though, uh, if not just a very marginal difference, because the placement was basically reversed. Right. Right. Entering the third race now. Koopa Troopa Beach, man. This is my favorite uh, course in the game, personally. Yeah, I really, I actually really enjoy this course. It's a, uh, it's not, it, it's a very intermediate course. You know, even if you're a novice, it's still pretty easy to get a grasp on. Yeah, uh, it's just some wise use of power-ups on this stage really takes you a long way. Uh, there's actually a couple of shortcuts. In, on the stage, like everyone knows the tunnel, mm -hmm. but uh, if you swing out around, it might actually be uh, less of a gamble if you're able to cut through that. Oh, nice boost there off the ramp by Janet. She actually gets the same uh, shortcut that we were just talking about. Very nice. But uh, there's a lot of places where you can just cut wider through the water if you have a boost, or mm -hmm. if if the tide is low enough for you to only race on the sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting how uh, you can go so fast on this sand, but sand on any other track it just slows you down. Right, right. <laughs> well, they got they got special wheels with better traction for this course only. <laughs> Good choice by Janet there. I wonder if she's gonna go for this again. You, you can't get it without the boost. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not too much of a setback for her because she actually missed the ramp completely. If you hit the ramp and you run into the wall, it, it can be a huge setback for you. Yeah. Okay. What's she gonna do here? Oh, she's, oh we got uh, a blue shell down. She, stri maybe strategically. Yeah, when when she launched, when uh, when Poppy Chulo launched that blue shell, she was actually in second place. So it tracked Wario. But there was another blue shell on the map. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a slight taste of Rice Krispies in my mouth. Uh, I like that. <laughs> oh, she, uh, missed, she missed the tunnel missed again. again. But, uh, I, man, Poppy Chulo's way back in eighth place, man. Yeah, this he's, is he's a big up Mad stars. <laughs> When you get that many stars in a row, you you know you're in trouble. Absolutely. Oh, uh, she ran straight into the tree. No worries though, she's still got two shrooms left. And she's gonna be able to make up for a lot of that lost time. She might even still finish first. Oh, a star right oh. at the end. Yeah, that pretty much seals it. Yeah. <laughs> and poor old Poppy at the end. Oh, he just man. gave up. He gave up. What's he doing? Oh. Oh man. Well, I mean, I guess. Uh, what? When do you stop getting points? Is it like sixth or seventh place? Yeah. Really unfortunate uh, for Poppy Chulo. He's gonna have to hold that L. He's gonna have his hands full with that L. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what was that? It's it's gonna be hard. My man Vincent with uh, the anagrams. No, that's not an anagram. <laughs> <laughs> Jen is really consistent off the starting line. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's always really, really a big experience learning oh, how to drop this banana on somebody, man. <laughs> I guess she's just going to use it for defense, which is, that's a really good decision. Yeah, I think she might have gotten that Yoshi. Yep. Oh, three green shells. 
Man, that that far out ahead, three green shells is that's that's a nice yeah. game. Definitely, it gives you really good protection. Uh, personally, I don't really care to use them when I'm that far ahead. Yeah, yeah, you you want to keep some power ups for defense when you have three shells, man. That really protects you. She, yeah. Wow, she just got a lightning bolt in second place. That's like, insane. That this RNG. game this game wants her to win. <laughs> <laughs> it's very biased. She's way out in head uh, ahead now. She got a pretty good lead. So when I was younger, you know the uh, the audio quality on the 64 is not amazing. Oh no, not at all. So, like voices sound really, really messed up. I I could have swore when I was a kid that Mario was saying Mexico, and it just confused <laughs> me so much. Yeah, I can definitely see that. <laughs> In a way, I feel like that makes more sense than uh, than saying "Let's go," <laughs> considering where the map is and everything. <laughs> Mama mia! Um, Janet, really, really smart player, actually. Making some really good decisions. <laughs> and Yoshi just giving her the boost there. Yeah. Last time I saw someone ride that booty that way, it was uh, illegal. <laughs> Three red shells in second place, dude. Not bad at all. It looks like she's uh, keeping that as defense. Oh, three green shells. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd uh, I'd be shouting collusion right now. <laughs> um, so when did they introduce? What game did they introduce a mechanic where you could flip the shields behind you? Was it when you where you can shoot the shells behind you? Yeah. I, I don't think you can do that with red shells in any of the games. Oh, really? You you can shoot green shells behind you in this game. Oh, okay. You can also launch bananas forward. Very cool. So, uh, Poppy Chula is gonna try. You're gonna want to try to overtake this racer ahead of him. Nah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> well, it looks like that seals the deal. Yeah, actually, I don't think that there's any way for Poppy Chulo to uh, win this. Yeah, first place wouldn't give him enough points. Oh wait, that was that was the fourth race. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the fourth course. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was actually uh, Poppy Chula was actually in a really bad position there. Um, she, Janet would have had to have finished like fifth or below, and yeah. he would have had to have taken first Absolutely. to come back. Couldn't even make it to the top three. Now, uh, just just to make it clear uh, for everybody here. Um, I am actually one of the best Mario Kart players um, in the tri-state area. In the tri-state area. I'm not that in egotistical. In space time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh... David Fistel. Okay, you're on. There we go. Okay, so we got... Jasmine Gonzalez. Not Gonzalez. And David Fishhouse. 
If you live uh, in the RGB area, you might know Fish from Critical Hit Arcade. I know him from uh, last year. I also know him from last year. <laughs> we know him together from last year. <laughs> together we met. <laughs> All right, and uh, let me get this uh, round named properly. This is Pool C Round 1. Okay, I'm going to do a piece. Walk up to my street and make a We got Pool C. Winners Round 1.